All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about Hawkeye's final gear update. This is the best possible build for Hawkeye, I would say, in the game, and there's no updates coming, so this is as good as it gets. Melee piece, uh, just get this piece for Hawkeye. Uh, it's an offline vendor piece. Here's the date for it. The faultless empowerment's actually useful. If you wanna overcharge and your ult's not up, split shot gamma's pretty good. Plasma or pin would also be good, but gamma's fine. Perfect stats in gold and a 2.1. This is a perfect piece, easy to get, just offline vendor it, super easy. All right, the ideal range piece is a targeted spark, tachyon surge, precision valor. It's not easy to get. If you want to get it, saves come the tachyon anomaly event, and you really want precision valor. You don't really care if it's precision valor might, precision valor intensity, or just a dual stat precision valor. You don't really care about the status. Pulsar's the best, but don't worry about that. I would farm it for Precision, Valor, and Targeted Spark. That's all that matters. This piece is hard to get, and you could just use a Targeted Spark piece without, that's not a tag on search piece. That's easy to get. The problem, or the issue is, this is by far the Pez piece for Hawkeye. There's nothing that is competitive with tag on search at the bottom slot. A lethal targeted buff is good, for an RNG piece, and if I find one with targeted spark, lethal targeted buff, I'll drop the offline vendor date in the comments, but if you want the best Hawkeye build, you have to get this piece. There's no, there's nothing that competes with it. Ideal chest piece. This piece is actually pretty easy to get. You just need to run cloning labs, and this is one of the perks I can drop. 3.2 heroic charge rate will overcharge this, plus the 2.1 from the melee will give you plus 500. 30, so you're going to be over six times, you're going to be a little over six times heroic charge rate, which is absurd. One one targeted spark instantly overcharges all your heroics, and your ult can target the spark itself, so that's awesome. You don't really care about the other perks, and the triple stat is resolve intensity and resilience. So you want a triple stat one with a 3.2. Pretty easy to get. Definitely best chest piece by far. The four piece, this piece is pretty hard to get. Um, you want the Hawk's Bow, this is just the gold piece from the vault, and you want Berserker buff, and here's the stat pool, Valor, Precision, Resolve, and Might. Valor's the best stat, then Precision, then Resolve, and then you don't want Might. Um, it's more important to get this piece with Berserker buff than it is to get this piece with good stats, and you don't need this piece with Berserker buff, and the same way you don't need the Tachyon you know, Surge piece, but if you want the best Hawkeye build, you need the Berserker buff. It's absurd. 65% damage and 10% crit chance. I mean, that's just, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Not to mention that this is a great piece as it is, right? You can get it with perfect stats, 25% crit chance while overcharged is insane, and instant overcharge for your ult is really, really strong. For relics, you just want stat relics. Um, if you're getting triple stat, the purple ones, you can get one with Powerful Boon, is definitely the best perk, and you can also get an Assistance perk, and I have an offline vendor date for this piece, so it's about as good as you can, this is about as good as you can get easily, and as you notice, 78, 78, 78, which is, what, 234 Valor, yeah, this perk doesn't matter a ton, but, you know, you might as well get this, it's easy to get. Alright, the ideal relic, though, would be Shard of the Cosmos, which you can get from the Cloning Labs. And the reason that you care about this piece is more stats. 108 versus 78. That works out to an extra 90 stats in total. And you can get this piece with double valor. So if you get this piece with double valor and precision or double valor and proficiency, it's going to be a little bit better than this piece. I honestly just use this piece because I don't have anything crazy like this yet. But if you get one of these, Keep it, use it, you know, it's good. Stats are stats, right? So here's the perfect Hawkeye build. Melee, easy to get. Range piece, you gotta farm for it, not easy. Run cloning labs, it's not that hard. Pretty easy to get this piece. This piece, yeah, you just gotta, you can, there's a way to save come vaults, or you can just, that's not that fast. Or you can run vaults, that's also not that fast. This piece is just not that easy to get, but it's absurdly good. And if you don't have the Berserker buff one, just run one with good stats, you know? There's an exotic one with good triple stats, you can run that. And relics, you just want good stat relics. So something like this, or 
these purple these two purple relics are good and definitely norn stone of lethal will is the best artifact the activated is strong and the passive is much better than tactical in terms of damage if you don't have a piece with bazooka buff you can run the ring or the tactical I would say run the ring because it's better than the Tacticon. You can spam Cornucopia now, and the Quell is garbage, and Tacticon's just not that strong. Ring's just better, and if you're a damage buff build, definitely run Nornstone Lethal Will. 10% crit chance is really, really strong, and your damage buff lasts an extra four seconds. Champion points, saves and everyone else. The crit ones are the most important, and the heroic charge rate. And the perk ones and the defense and the status build up are decent, and these are absolute garbage. Here's the mastery points if you want to just screenshot and copy them. Stat priority you don't have to worry too much about the stat priority because all this gear is pretty much locked in stone and what stats it has. But Valor is your best stat. Precision and proficiency are your secondary offensive stats. You want a piece or two of resolve, but your chest piece will have resolve, so you're good. One piece of intensity is good, but your chest piece has it, so don't worry about intensity. You don't want might, it's garbage, and resilience is also kind of garbage. But you won't get any resilience. Actually, no, you get one from the chest piece, but, you know, it is what it is. You gotta run it for the 3.2. Overall, Hawkeye, yeah, one of the best heroes of the game. Easiest hero in the game, I would say. If you like the the hives, ugh, so it's easier than Thor. I mean, Hawkeye's so easy. He's not the best hero in the game against the elite raid. That's always been Iron Man. He hits one of the hardest. He's his hunter arrow hunts down enemies for you. I mean, it, Hawkeye's amazing. And how's he changed from the cheese build that I uploaded a while ago? Uh, the healing buff only lasts 10 seconds now instead of 30. Less split shot arrows. And you don't you only get two instead of three charges. Eh, minor downsides. You have to spam the healing puddle more but you get your heroics back so fast you can have it up essentially 24 7 on the plus side that four piece gets the 25 percent crit chance which is really strong and berserker buff which is 65 percent damage and 10 percent crit chance which yeah hawkeye hits a lot harder than he used to even that insane cheese build so uh, hawkeye's better than ever absolutely one of the best classes in the game and yeah i recorded a uh, me going through the harm room if you want to watch that but i mean hawkeye's easy mode you know here's the loadout go try to get it if you want